Welcome to Higher Heights Apostolic Church, located at 101 Road 999, Battleville, Mississippi, where the pastor is Overseer Elder Nathan Brown and First Lady Evangelist Stephanie Brown. Join us in this service on today. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord for being here today. Amen. 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 God has been great to us. Yes. God has been a great God, and we just, he deserves all the praise and all the glory. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's give God praise for being in the house today. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, first we come telling you thank you. Thank you for all that you've done for us. Thank you for your grace and mercy. Thank you for watching over us and keeping us. Thank you for your guidance and your protection. Thank you for giving us a mind to be here to give you praise on today. Thank you for all that you have blessed us with. Lord, those things that even we didn't feel that we deserve, but Lord, you gave it to us anyway. Thank you for watching over us and keeping us from all hurt, harm, and danger, seen and unseen. Lord, we thank you for keeping us in your arms. And Lord, we ask that you go with us right now throughout this week, Lord. Lord, we ask you to touch us even in this service on today. Lord, we ask you to allow your spirit to move in this place right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask you to, to move in a mighty way, Lord. Lord, that someone here may be sick, someone may be down, depressed, going through. But whatever it is that they're dealing with, Lord, we ask you to heal right now in the name of Jesus. We ask you to allow your healing virtue to come down from above, Lord. And Lord, heal each and every one here under the sound of my voice, Lord. Whatever their issues may be. Lord, we ask you to touch and anoint and build us up in the areas we've been broken and torn down. Lord, we ask you to strengthen us in the areas we've been made weak. Lord, we ask you to give us the ability to be able to stand on in your name. To continue to walk in your ways. Lord, we ask you to touch those that are not here today. Those that are unable to come to the service. Those who are uh, homebound. Those who are not able to get out right now. Lord, we ask you to touch each and every one of them. Lord, strengthen them. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, whatever their needs are, Lord, we ask you to step in and, and heal their needs in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask you to touch right now as we go through this service, Lord. Lord, if there's someone here that needs you right now, Lord, we ask you to step in, Lord. We know that you are an on-time God, that you are right now God. And Lord, you said that if those that call upon your name, that you would answer. And Lord, we ask that you answer right now in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, some of us need you to answer by fire. In other words, Lord, we need you to, to burn some things out of our lives in the name of Jesus. Lord, that we will be who you call for us to be. Lord, we ask you to help us in the season that we're in. Lord, we don't understand all of our seasons, but we know that there are seasons. And you said that there's a time for all things. And Lord, help us to understand the time that you have for all things. And understand that, that you are in control. That you have all your hands in everything. And Lord, we don't walk away from you. And Lord, we keep trusting in you. Keep standing on your word. Keep standing on your promises. Lord, we ask you to do it right now. We ask you to touch our pastor right now, Lord, as he prepares to give us a word on today. Lord, allow your word to marinate into our hearts. Lord, that we will be sanctified. That we will be holy. That we will be set apart. Lord, that people can see your light shining through our lives. That nothing will be done for plain glory, Lord. But it will all be done for your glory and your glory alone. Lord, we ask you to do it right now in the name of Jesus. We call these things to be done. Lord, not just these blessings, but any other blessings that you have for us, Lord. We're standing with open arms ready to receive whatever you have for us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Come on and give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We serve an awesome God. Hallelujah. We serve an awesome God. Anybody else say we serve a mighty God? We serve a mighty God. We serve a mighty God. Hallelujah. Come on and put your hands together. Hallelujah.
Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank God for being great. Anybody else know he's great? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nobody greater than he is. Hallelujah. There's nobody greater. Nobody greater. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We serve a great God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Nobody's greater than he is. Hallelujah. I dare you to just think in your mind of all the things that God has done for you just on this week. Hallelujah. We don't even have to go a long ways back. Hallelujah. You know, we say, as I look back over my life and I think things over, I have a testimony. But I don't even have to go and look back over my life. All I can do is look right now. Hallelujah. Think about what he's done for me just on this week. Just on this day. Hallelujah. Just the fact that I was able to get up out of my bed today. Hallelujah. Not just sit up, not just wake up, but sit up and get up. Hallelujah. And have the activities of my limb. Yeah, my knees may hurt. My elbows may hurt. My chest may hurt. My head may hurt. But even if I'm hurting, I'm still here. And I can still give God praise. Hallelujah. I can still magnify God. Hallelujah. Because there's somebody that wasn't able to wake up today. There's somebody that didn't have the activities that they could raise their hand. They couldn't get up and brush their teeth. There's somebody that couldn't even say to somebody today, good morning. But I thank God, hallelujah, that he has given me the activity and to be able to say good morning. And not just to family and friends, but I can say good morning to even Jesus Christ. Everybody say good morning, God. Come on, somebody say good morning, God. Hallelujah. There's nobody greater than he is. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
God with the head of our life. All the officers in the Heavenly Heights Church tour, our own wife, Evangelist Brown tour, the saints of God. Uh, just thank God for y'all being here. Thank God for sending some of the saints out today. Even though we're still in a crisis, and I want the saints to know Corona is real. So you continue to take this serious and continue to do what we need to do to try to stay out of harm's way. Uh, because people are starting dying and they're opening different things back up. But I want to say to you, be careful uh, for goodness sake. Because we're living in a time where the scriptures are just really fulfilling themselves. Uh, to we believe I, I was talking to someone just on yesterday, and they began to talk about how things was years ago. And how many of you know people are trying to make you a God? Mm. I'm going to say it one more time. People are trying to make you a God. Mm. So to show me, they don't think because you're a preacher, you don't have issues. Mm. They don't think just because you got a preacher, you don't have things, sister Rachel, that they go through. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. And one Amen. thing I know that a good preacher or pastor has to have is long suffering. Come on. Yes. Come on. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, it's something that God so puts long. in you. Yes. To allow you to do the thing that you do. Amen. To take the stuff that you take. Yeah. How is you can do good to somebody when they talk about your man? Mm. Amen. That's why you got that man made up. Amen. Like, Amen. But the scripture said this, and I want I want people to understand the scripture said love of men. Come on. So how, how can you hate somebody that did good to you? Mm. How can you hate somebody that helped you Jesus. along this walk? Amen. And they're talking about this corona have affected the whole world. Yes. But can I tell you something worse than corona? S I N. Come on, preacher. Mm. I Come on, man. I'm in a, I'm in a, a teaching mode since they told me after everything, you strange to protect the people, and, and that's good. But we want the stuff to get out. And let you understand that we still got to be saved, even in trying times. Because this, this type of thing that's going on, it really tested your faith. Let's go today. Uh, we're going to be coming out of the book of Matthew, chapter number 28. And then I'm, uh, I'm going to need somebody to help me read today. Uh, if y'all don't mind, get, you got a pencil and paper at home, write these things down because you better go back and study the scriptures, search the scriptures. Because the Bible tells us to search the scriptures, but in them, you think you might have eternal life. And then it also said, when we think we have figured God out, we said, we get still far away from him. And, and I want to tell you something, that we're living in a day and a time where the saints of God, you can't lose focus on what the enemy is doing. Come on. Hello, somebody. Come on. Amen. John 10 and 10, they tell us the enemy's purpose, Sister Brooke, they tell us the reason why the enemy is doing what it's doing to call we know that the enemy comes through three things in our life. Kill, steal, kill, and destroy. Somebody else stole something from you. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And you wanted it back. Mm. Yeah. And you ever lost something you couldn't find. Mm. Yeah. The devil trying to steal somebody's testimony. My Lord. Huh. And we all come by the word. I just want to talk. I, I feel good at the same time. I want the people to know in the world, in our society, what's really going on. Still kill. Have I ever lost anybody to them? Huh? I can ask each one of us in here right now, Sister Monica, that we could go back. And one person you could call from the dead, who would it be? Jesus. Now at that point, that would come personal. If you could call heaven once a year, just to talk to one somebody. Mm. Who would it be? Mm. And the word destroy means to never exist again. Mm. It means that you can't put it back together. 
How the doctor can't even do the job? Uh -huh. My God. Only the word of God can only put things back together. But then at the first I concluded that well, Jesus said, I come uh -huh. that you might have what? Life. Life. And have what? More uh -huh. what? Abundance. Abundance means plenty. Uh -huh. Abundance means great. Abundance is something that you really can't add because when you get a thousand, you say plus one. Just I saw a number no man. that no man could know. Mm. That really got to blow your mind right there. Okay. Because anytime you think about a number, all thing you do is what? Add one. Mm -hmm. And then get a greater value every time you, you add one. Mm -hmm. Let's go Matthew 28. Let me go ahead and read the name. Uh, uh, come on, sister. Hey, forget. Matthew 28, 19 through 20. Mr. Devon, get uh, John 3, 16 through 18. Sister Rachel, get Acts 13, 45 through 47. Sister Monica, get Matthew 28, 19 and 20 again. Sister Shamanese. This is 7 Timothy 4 and 1. Let us pray. Good Lord, come now. Thank you, God, for what you've done. Thank you for what you're going to do. Now, God, we ask you to use me for a little while. Behind your sacred cross, there's somewhere to go forth that will change someone's life, that will strengthen someone. But God, most of all, somebody won't make no desire to be saved. Say that individual now. If you don't want to say it, do it for the people of God. And Lord, we to break every chain, destroy every yoke. If you do it for us, God will continue to give you all the honor and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Matthew 28, 19 through 24. Look what it says. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, uh -huh. baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. All right. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. 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 I want to talk for a little while a thought. The commission. Okay. The commission. commission. The <clears throat> commission. Here, my brothers and sisters, Matthew is telling us in verse number 19, he said, go ye therefore. Go means you got to get up and do something. Uh -huh. Amen. Go means you're on the move. Yes. Yeah. Go means you're not stagnating. Go means you're doing something. I wonder how many have been going somewhere. Come on. Jesus. Here, Jesus was telling the commission of the disciples, he said, go ye therefore, and when you go, get what? Teach all nations. You know what? We are be a living example to teach somebody about this God that we know. Mm -hmm. And can I tell you, you can't teach nobody about the God we know unless you know God. Amen. And, and can, I, can I say this just for the record? Say, I don't want to, amen, live this life, listen, by me knowing God, but God don't know me. Amen. Right? Let me go a little bit further. Don't you know when you say we know God? But guess what? How many of you don't want to get turned around at the gate? Mm -hmm. Depart from me, I know you. I talk back to them. Amen. Huh? On, hey, you ever, you ever did people like that? I know them, honey. I can tell you all about them. When come to find out you don't know nothing about them. Let me go a little bit farther than this. How many of y'all know people know you, but you don't know them? Amen. Amen. Uh, Amen. Huh? Man. They know you, but you don't know nothing about them. Matter of yeah. fact, they can sit down and tell you some stuff about yourself. Jesus. But you don't know nothing about them. Uh. Listen, I want to tell somebody, stop exposing yourself to the enemy. Amen. One day you know you can give them stuff to fight with. Yeah. I told somebody just a few weeks ago. Don't let, stop letting the enemy push your butt. Amen. Amen. I, okay, I, come on. Teach all nations. Everybody in the world needs to know who Jesus is. Right. 
But then he said, baptizing them. Every believer got to be baptized. You don't believe go ask the demons. Uh -huh. We go back to John 3 and 1 right there. The open of the text that Nicodemus began to inquire about who Jesus was. He said, what makes you who you are? How is that I can have a very hope to eternal life? Jesus said, two things you got to do. He said, except to be born of the water and the spirit. That means you got to be baptized. Uh -huh. Submerged. Uh -huh. Everything got to go on. Yes. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Your hair, your nose, uh -huh. everything got to go under. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Can't sprinkle your way in. Uh -huh. Come on, come on. The priest can't do three for how to move your uh -huh. You got to be baptized. How are you going to walk with me when Jesus is telling us right here? For salvation to be obtained, you got to be baptized. Yes, sir. Yeah. The word says, baptizing them in the Name. N-A-M-E. M-E. Yes, sir. Thank God for Shana High School. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little Woman Community College. Okay. <laughs> JSU. Okay. Thank God for the few times I didn't make the great. I had to go back. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Rachel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when I thought me. Okay. I thought name is singular. Yes, sir. Uh. Huh? Yes, sir. Baptize him in the name. name. Now, I thought I learned to shout. Three plus zero equals three. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they did that at y'all school. <laughs> Come on down. Matter of fact, matter of fact, we did it so much. We had to get our pencil, the number two pencil, uh -huh. sharpening real good. And that three, we had them little dots, now you just connect them together. Okay. That made three. Okay. <laughs> the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost are one. Are one. Yeah. Same way he made us. We talked about the Great Commission. Okay. Commission. He said he made us, Nathan yeah. Brown. In the image of God. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I got this mm -hmm. fine body. That's <laughs> all. I got a spirit in me. Okay. Which is the breath of life. Okay. So my body and my spirit feeds my soul. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now listen. As long as I got those three things in this one body, I'm living. Come on. Huh? Yeah. Come on, preacher. But like if any one of them separate themselves from me. My work here is over. Come on, yeah. preacher. Yeah. So we, we don't want to get this thing confused. And, and I'm not, but I want you to understand, you got to be able to understand the scriptures and read them because they are plain in plain view. Come on. Yeah. I got to yeah. go. I can't say that all day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Uh huh. Verse 20 is teaching them to okay. observe all things. You know, we, being the people of God, we got to be watchful. Yes. Amen. The students are watch and right. we got this in, in, in 2020. Get what we got to do. We got to watch and, and pray. pray. Don't you know this corona is making people watch? Okay. I ain't gonna say they pray, but I know they watch. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, help them, help them. Some of them have oh. been guilty because when we watch folk, we see them sneeze and cough on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Matter of fact, you'll do a 360 to try to get away. Yeah, I will. <laughs> but the Bible tells the believer to watch and pray. He's to be, be observing what's going on. Yes. You cannot be a perfect individual of God if you're not observing what's going on. Amen. That's right. Because the student God don't want us to be ignorant concerning those things. Yes. As others do. Uh-huh. So we got to be up on our game. We got to get an understanding that God wants us to be observe everything. Going on, when I was in the military, when I was in the Navy, our life depended on our surroundings. That's right. Yeah. We had to know what was around us at all times. Mm -hmm. When the last time you ever went somewhere and tried to observe who was around? Mm -hmm. You ain't paying no attention, or you just coming, eat. Don't know people sitting around you could be ready to kill you, That's or right. cause you harm. No, no, no. Hello, and you don't even know because you ain't paying attention. Jesus. But it said, teach them to observe all things whatsoever I commanded you. And lo, I am with you 
always, even unto the end of the world. You know what I learned about unto and until? Come on, preacher. People will be with you until you make a man. Come on. Yes. Y'all say something. That's right. Man. People will be with you until you disagree with them. Ooh. Come on now. People will be with you until you start breaking some chains off. Come on, oh, man. Chains. Come on. Come on. Work on it. People will be through with you when you won't take them out to eat. Come on now. Until the last dinner. <laughs> but I'm not glad. God said he'll be with us until. Until. Until me to young point. Yes. Until me to a certain point. I, I know y'all got certain points you'll go with somebody. <laughs> But we got to have a mind that Jesus said unto. We got to go beyond the point. Okay. So all of us, even in here today, we need God to work on us. Come on. Amen. Work on me, Jesus. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you do. You still need God to work on you. Yes. You'll yes. never be a finished product until death take you away. Amen. Right. Amen. And what makes you a finished product of now is nothing else that he can work with you on. Come on. Now you got to spend eternity. Somewhere. Yes. The word commission, the word commission simply means a special assignment. That's right. I'm going to say it again. Say it. The word commission, thing simply means a special assignment. Okay. Have y'all ever had a special assignment? Come on. Yes. They do it in school. Yes. yes. My wife loves so she ain't going to get mad. Hallelujah. Y'all ever heard any teacher to make you mad? <laughs> Turn in paper? Homework on the first day of school? <laughs> huh? <Yeah>. Huh? <laughs> Look, and, 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 and you got to have these four pages. Come on here. Come on, so man. now you, you got to get up to the extra part to kick in to make sure on that particular assignment that you don't get an F. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hello, somebody. And what it does, so it's really, it pulls up out of our norm. It pulls us in a place where we got to go more than just reading two or three lines. Mm -hmm. You got to prepare that paper for the teacher. Uh -huh. Amen. And you know, the good teacher, I don't know if they do it now. When, when we were in school, well, when I was in school, praise God. <laughs> anything you messed up on, punctuation or anything, the teacher was serving mm -hmm. with a red pen yeah. and put the right thing down. So for the next time, you have to do a paper, you know what to do. Yeah, uh -huh. right. you don't know what to do. Right. Right. And that's the job of the teachers to teach us how we should be. They're preparing us. Praise God, we got people that just graduated. School leaders should prepare you for the next level in your life. Yeah, that's right. Now, let me say this. College ain't for everybody. Come on. You right. You Amen. right, preacher. Huh? If you get barely made it out of high school, <laughs> now listen. Some point of mindset got to change. That's Amen. Right. These young ladies that graduate, they're not children anymore. That's right. They're yeah. young adults. That's but right. But even in that, they still got challenges that you got to face. That's and right. Being a saint of God, there are still challenges that we have to face. That's and that's right. what I love about God. He don't throw us away when we mess up. Come Amen. on. Come on. Amen. Thank you, Lord. The commission says he, 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 he wants us to get to the point where everything we do in, in our life, we try to do better. That's right. Yes. It's a process of doing. You got to practice doing better. Think of somebody say practice doing better. Practice, practice doing better. Yeah. Practice doing better. <laughs> the only way you can be in God, you got to practice living right. Yes. 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 There are three kinds of commission I want you to talk about. The first one is Christ to mankind. Come on, get John 3, 16 and 18. What it said there? For God so loved the world, uh -huh. and he gave his only begotten son. Uh -huh. Now whosoever believeth in him uh -huh. should not perish, uh -huh. but have everlasting life. Come on. For God sent not his son uh -huh. into the world to condemn the world, uh -huh. but through the world, but through the world, through but that the world through him might be saved. Come on. He that believeth on him is not condemned. But he that believeth not in con condemnation comes in. But he that believeth not in condemn already, mm -hmm. because he that he has not believed in the, the name of the only begotten Son of God. Listen, listen. Uh, the, 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 the commission 
for mankind to understand who Jesus was. Uh -huh. his, his reason for coming into the world was to redeem man back yes. to himself. Yes. Now everybody knows that God so loved the world. Well, and he, well, he loved us, so he gave us something. He gave us his only begotten son to whosoever believe it. Who you got to believe in? You got to believe in God. Amen. Booty don't believe in Booty. Ah. They believe in Confucius. Ah. They believe in Mohammed. Come on. I believe in God. Yes, sir. The redeemer of mankind. Yeah. But that's what Jesus is very important. Uh, the world was already messed up when Jesus came. That's why he came. Yes, right. Yeah. Yeah. Now you have some flesh stuff was already messed up. <laughs> huh? And when you get there, when your yeah. house is messed up, that wasn't the way you need to try to clean it up. Come on. Yeah. You don't want folk coming on your house. Yeah. Messed up. Yeah. Look at the TV, got 10 pounds of dust. <laughs> but God gave us the best thing he could ever give to man. Was well, the only thing I This is this oh, my, my, my two band boys, the twins. Come on. I, I, I think about it all the time. Listen, they're always with their mama or father. Yes, yes. They know what they're getting them, but they still try to sit in the lap. Yeah, they do. Still try to be baby fat. Come on here. Amen. Friend. Y'all ain't hip. <laughs> Listen, everywhere. That the mom and father go get what they're just about with. Yes, amen, they do. Let me, let me go a little bit further while I'm there. I think they're about nine or ten now. I can count on one hand how many times they ever spent the night at our house. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. Now let me tell you, they do good until the sun starts going down. Raven is ready to go. Feeling <laughs> all right. Now, now what I'm saying say this, uh, we got to understand, we got to follow Jesus. Just like they follow their mom, we got to follow Jesus. Come you know, on, that's they, good. They, they, they that's good. Take up that father and follow. Me. Yes. How often you have to do it? You got to do it daily. Amen. It's a 24-7 thing. Don't you know you have to feel bad even when you really don't have a relationship with God like the twins have with their mom. Amen. 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 Uh, That's good. Let me go to a little bit further. Listen, don't you know the best thing in life is to know who you're in love with? Amen. Yeah. If you're in love with God, it ought to show some signs. Yeah. Come on. Yes. Huh? Then yeah. you run around here talking about they love God, got knives in their pocket, knives in the purse, guns, <laughs> they love God, they will, will kill you. Wow. <laughs> and let me go, no, let me go a little further. Some people are killed with their mouth. Oh, okay. Oh, that's okay. Right. Oh, okay. That's not God. Oh, oh. Oh. Give me a hint. Give me a hint real quick. Come on, I need a hint. I got to go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This. Not only, I think y'all understand, not only can a person's mouth kill you. See this thing right here? Oh, my. Come on, preacher. Help them. What you mean, Brian? Some of them you have probably applied for a loan. Get what the man did. Denied. Denied. They made me sick. I'm mad. I'm the pay your bill. You ain't got to worry about them. Well, we're talking about killing stuff. We can kill people with pants, sister brother. Yeah. Passing no killing folks. Oh, yeah. Don't do nothing for them. Come on now. Don't help them. Come on. Don't go out your way. Don't you know you if you are a saint of God, you got to have some long suffering and patience in you. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody gets better overnight. Nobody gets perfect overnight. Amen. You got to practice it. Amen. So here he said that the commission was for God gave the only begotten son. And like I said, the world already messed up before he came. That was verse 17 to tell you. But verse 18 is very important as well. Because if you don't believe in God, then you got to believe in somebody. Amen. When you got people that don't believe in God, the scripture, you already believe in them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You ain't got to go and tell them you're going to hell. 
The spirit of the church, they already condemned. Yeah. Condemned means can't be used. Yeah. Not usable. So how many of y'all been in the condemned house? Yeah. Mm. And nobody say nothing. How many of y'all been in a condemned relationship? Yep. Yeah. What? How many of y'all been in a condemned cop? Yep. Hey. How can you be in a condemned cop, cop? Yeah. Pay him off for the car that he worked. <laughs> Keep a man making a new cop, baby. You put everything new on and it's still breaking down. Yeah. yeah, well, that's something like some of our relationship. Amen. When the last time you seek the face of God? Come on. When the last time you said, Lord, I'm fast until you do something for me? Amen. Lord, I, I'm here now. I need you. Jesus even told the disciples, he said, something on the combat fasting had. Right. That was a commission that they had. Yeah. I mean, people of God, we got to fast and pray yeah. and watch. Come on here. Yeah. We, we can't do it without each other. And I'm, I'm challenging you even not the other day. You got to get some prayer in your life. You got to get some fasting in your life. Amen. Ain't talking about fasting because you ain't got no grocery. I'm talking about fasting when you just left the grocery store. Amen. I'm talking about fasting when your refrigerator on full Jesus. instead of eating. I'm talking about when you had work. Say, Lord, I ain't going to even eat what I need you to do. Something special for me. Yeah. And then I tell you, hey, I'm going to do certain things. Amen. But don't you know when you are a leading people, you have to go above and beyond a little bit? You got to fast just a little bit more. Yes. Hello, somebody. Oh, yeah. And I always tell the same, pray for me. Amen. Hello? Amen. No, I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you, but I need you to pray for me. Right. Yeah. So the committee is in the world already condemned. Come on, let's go to Acts 13. Number two. Number two. The first one I told you, Christ of mankind. The second was Israel to the Gentile. Okay. In the book of Acts chapter 13. Verse 14 through 7. I'm not going to be able to get through with this today. It'll be a part 2. But let me read this real quick. Uh, Acts 13, 45 and through 47. The second commission was, was Israel to the Gentiles. Y'all ready? Look what it says. I'm going to want to try to. Let me see. Okay. In the next uh, Sabbath day came almost the whole uh, city. Acts 13. Oh, I'm sorry. 14. <laughs> Oh, you keep trying. I mean, Acts, I'm sorry, Acts 13, 45 and 47. That's what she wanted. All right, come on, you got it. <laughs> Read. But when the Jews saw the multitude, they were filled with envy and spoke against those things which were spoken by Paul, uh -huh. contradicting and blaspheming. Read. 46, then Paul and Barnabas waxed bold and said, It was necessary that the word of God should first have been spoken to you. Uh -huh. But seeing ye put in from you and judge yourselves unworthy of everlasting life, uh -huh. lo, we must turn to the Gentiles. Read. For so hath the Lord commanded us, saying, I have set thee to be a light to the Gentiles, that thou shouldest be for salvation unto the ends of the earth. Listen. The Israel, the, the Jews, some of them begin to reject the word of God. Mm. And we know as a believer, the Jew was God's chosen people. Come on. Yeah. Now get what happened through the dispensation of time, amen, people being born out of the Jewish race. You know, they began to mix. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. And you didn't have no solid Jew. The, the Jews that you did have solid, now you got people got different love and different nationality to follow on the law of the Gentiles like me. Mm -hmm. Hello? Amen. But somewhere, when you search the record, over time, Jew was in my family somewhere. Somewhere. Mm -hmm. Somewhere. Amen. But through time, amen, it began to discredit itself. The Gentiles came in. Listen, there is no poor race anymore. That's right. Amen. Hello? Amen. But here it talks about how the Jews rejected the word of God. Here it is. It it's all right if y'all don't want it. Now God sent it to somebody that's going to receive it. Uh -huh. Somebody's going to accept it. Somebody's going to submit their will to the will of God. So what they did, they, they let the Jews alone went to the Gentiles. Mm. Ain't you glad that they went to the Gentiles? Come on, bro. You got to be thankful that God did not throw us away not being Jew, but for God so loved the world. Uh huh. So God can't lie. 
We say so love the world. He had to love us. He had to love the Gentiles. Yes, sir. He had to bring us into this thing that have a right to salvation. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And you know what? A lot of people are forfeiting their rights. Mm. What you mean? They're not accepting the Lord as a personal Savior. Mm. I've got to go on close now. We've got some more that we're doing next week. But I want you to understand, my brothers, the commission has already been set. Yes. We got a mandate that we have to buy and buy. We have to follow and let the world know that Jesus still lives. Even in 2020. Amen. 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 Even in 2020, he's still here. Thank you. Thank you. 2020, Lord. he's still delivering. Yes. Yes. 2020, he's still making way. Yes. 2020, he's still opening up doors. Yes. 2020, he's making us ready. Yes, sir. To meet him when he comes. Yes, yes sir. Yes. I wonder how many of you are prepared to meet Jesus. Jesus. You know how it is? When you want to take that person you think you might spend the rest of your life with, you're going to take them home and let your parents live. Mm. Now, I know everybody in here. <laughs> <laughs> your spouse to beat your family. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And then when you bring them to meet them, take them back home, you probably come back home, your mama going to say, that ain't the one. Amen. Come on. Amen. And then some mama say, yeah, you better get her that. Amen. Yeah, don't, don't, don't lose her. <laughs> the same way we got to be about God. Yes. yes. Don't try to entertain God with devil tactics. Amen. Come on, man. Jesus. 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 Commissions mean a special assignment. My God. That means everything you do, you should study it out. Come on, preacher. Yes. yes. I got to go. My time is up. We'll try to pick up again next week talking about the Great Commission. Listen, I want you to understand that the enemy is real. Yes, it is. Corona is tied to the word pestilence. Mm -hmm. That means a deadly epidemic. Mm -hmm. But guess what? This particular pestilence, Corona, have affected the world. Mm -hmm. Not a nation, but the world. Mm -hmm. And the world now is looking for a cure. They're looking for an answer. Scientists are, are trying their best because they're still killing people. Yes. Every day, some local city is having an increase with the coronavirus. But how many of y'all know somebody that just speak a word and corona will cease? <laughs> Someone that they give When it's all over, Said God has the last say. Amen. Amen. And now the nation. I'm going to say it till we start doing it. My God. Thank God for the first responders. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Huh? Yes, sir. Yes. You know what I've seen them do? Listen. And I'm told. I have seen them, Sister Joshua, get in their car. Call all the nurses and doctors out. Mm -hmm. And blow them up. Doo -doo. You're doing a great job. First response. Keep doing what you're doing. We love it. Yeah. Come on, take it. 10 to 20 seconds. And thank God for the first response. Uh -huh. yeah. People are doing it. But I ain't heard nobody yet. What do God have to say? In this matter, I haven't heard. I haven't heard the church folks step up in the first response. Come on. Instead of them keeping the church over there closed. Yes. Mm -hmm. But when we're the same, when we gonna pray? We, you ain't got to be in church to pray. You be at home. Amen. Amen. Everybody. Yeah, but I ain't heard nobody talk about what did God have to say. Amen. You like to come to High Eyes Church, Bible Pass 
lesson every Wednesday, 7 o'clock. Sunday school every Sunday morning at 8, followed by morning worship at 9.30. If you need a ride, you call 662-871-8263. We'll make sure you come out to the house of God. We want you to pray for the nation, pray for the church, pray for each other. And whatever you do, be safe. Be safe. Let us pray. God, we thank you again. Just for another day's journey. Lord, we thank you. I hear a lot of some together in this place with worship to come out and magnify your name, to lift your name up. And Lord, we thank you for those that sacrifice just to be in the house of God on today. We got someone that's here needing you in a mighty way, in a special way. Lord, we ask you to move on that person we have now. In the name of Jesus. God, anyone that came in bound, feeling bad, feeling like they're in captivity. God, we ask you to set them free now. In the name of Jesus. Some may be in sick, but you said in your word, God, by your stripes, we are here. Heal that individual now. Touch their mind, touch their heart. Touch their spirit. Lord, let them be what they need to be only in you. And Lord, we thank you for those that just graduated from high school. Stepping, oh God, into a new way yeah. of their own life. Touch yeah. them now. In the name of them, touch their mind, touch their heart. Yeah. Touch their spirit. God, let them understand every decision yeah. that they may make now is a life-changing decision. Yeah. Every decision that they make now, God, will affect them for the rest of their life. God, let yes. them make the right choice. Yes. And God, even when they make the wrong choice, give them the mind's heart to make it right. Please, in the name of Jesus. Now, God, we're going to leave this place, but now we are present. Touch that individual that's struggling with a habit that they feel they cannot break. Touch that mother that feel like they're in this battle all by themselves. Do it now. Like even touch the president, his mind, God. Let him be a better leader than he is even now. Make better yes. decision for the nation. Yes. And Lord, touch every leader that is standing up for what is right. Amen. If you do it for us, God, we'll continue to give you all the honor. We'll give you all the glory. Yes. And we'll give you all the praise. In Jesus' name.